Hello everyone, it's May Larson here and um, I am working on an altered horse and this one here is one that I buy from um, TJ Maxx and it comes in the um, like the wood color and what I do is I distress it then I take some of my chalk paint I add some stain and now I'm gonna uh, bling it out and I have this beautiful applique and that's going to go there and it has it looks like it's the straddles there and then I have all these beautiful trims from um, Creative Details and we're going to apply this to the tail so we're probably going to just kind of hang that out like so on there Okay, so I got all kinds of different types of stuff. And we're just going to make a little bundle. And I make a beautiful tail. And I have all these. These are all available from Creative with Details. So this is one. And this is a beautiful one. I love that because it's so boho. And this is that same one, but it's a little bit almost like the grayish color. And then this is a crocheted one. Okay, so we're going to grab some of these elements and we're going to make a tail for this horse. And I'm going to add this one as well. This is another one from Creative Details. And you can basically put anything on these just to make it. And I, want to, I want to make it a really nice boho kind. So we're just going to grab several of these little elements. And these are all basically from Creative Details. And I'll show you. This is Sorry Ribbon. And then this is a beautiful little daisy trim from Creative Details. That's the crocheted one that I just showed you. And, of course, the other ones that I showed you. And let's put this little daisy here. Gives it more value. And then more character on there. So then we're going to kind of figure out where we want this tail. And it looks like I'm going to need a lot more of this. So let's cut more. I mean, even if you're using like yarns and things like that, um, like this is a yarn. You can put that there. And then this is another little beautiful yarn from Creating with Details. And it just gives it a really nice look, too. So I've got that one. So I might use that for me there. And then. See what else I have. This one that I used. I'm sorry, I kind of put it in the one of scrap. It is one of creative details. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Let's see how that looks. Oh, nice and pretty. Probably need another one or two of this one. So let's wrap that one up twice. Tail has to go about so. Okay. Let's go ahead and cut this. I got tons and tons of it. Because it just makes it more fuller. So we have that. some of this one. This is also a Creative Details one. Little roses. I want a really nice full, full mane here. So, let's add more of this. Crochet one, and I love the color of that. 
Again, it doesn't have to be like perfectly cut to size size all up because if some pieces are longer than other, it's probably prettier and it gives it the dimensions. Let's get more of this one. Let's see, let's get some of this daisy pretty one. some of this. It's also a nice pretty one. Just got to keep adding. And I do want to make sure I save some of this because it's so pretty. It's perfect for I'll mix up more of this. I'll get some color in there. Basically, when you're doing these horses, you can just put whatever, you know. The important thing is trying to get them to distress. Um, that's really important that you get them really nice and distressed. All right. Let's have more of this. See how that looks. Nice full tail. Let me tie that up so that I know. Let's get more yarn here. Seam binding. Or not seam binding, but sorry, ribbon. And the sorry ribbon just gives it a really nice look to it. Nice vintage look. All right, let's tie it all together. All right, so we have our tail, and see how nice and full that is. It's really nice and rich. So, let me go ahead and put some glue here. I'm going to make sure we put plenty of glue so that our horse doesn't go butt naked. Okay. All right. Where's that? And then I have two things. I have this trim. It's also creating my details. Gorgeous. I love this one. Um, and I was thinking about putting that here in the front. Put the camera up there so you guys can see. Here. But I also have this one, which is one of their trims that you can cut halfway in the middle and kind of cut out these scallops. And it's really, really pretty and rich. I have that. We were thinking about maybe let's see how we do this. I love this. Oh, look at that! How cute. Okay, so we're gonna go with that. All right, so I need to find my thread point so I can gather it up more. I don't know if I want it all the way wrapped around, maybe. No, I don't want that all the way wrapped around. So let's see where it begins and where it ends. What I'm doing is that you see that little break here. I'm going to make sure it reaches on those so that it doesn't wrap all the way around. 
make sure it's on the right side. These are kind of tricky. Let's see, it goes this way. Right? Well, that was right. It's tricky fabric. It's like really, really hard to tell which one's the right way, which one's the wrong way. All right. Stretch this out a little. I want to go edge to edge like that. I'm just going to go a little bit lower. Here. Just go wrap it around to the front. we have that we can definitely oops let's clean up that blue web and then we'll go in with this beautiful one I love this one Toshari she needed to get more of that one all right so we're gonna go in with that one Sorry, I'm off focus. That's just how my camera is angled. All right. Okay. So that's what we have there. Isn't that pretty? It's my little creative details course. All right. So then, I have all my stuff. I got stuff everywhere, ladies. All right. <clears throat> I have this beautiful applique. And you can purchase these at Creative and Details. They're really, really pretty. I have that there. All right, so we're going to work on the main here. We're going to use some sari yarn and just wrap it around the Deco Fun Bow Maker. And just constantly wrap it around to get a good flow of it. Right there. So, it's just easier to tie it up. This little sorry yarn has a little bit of bead and ribbon in it. I love it. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let me trim it down here. And let's bring the horse up. As you can see, I started to put some here already, but it wasn't enough, and I didn't have enough of that one. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this, sorry, in between all that. Well. Nice and done and glued up pretty. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. You guys can see that. There you go. Okay. Now, all those pieces picked up. And we're going to have this pretty flower that I made. 
and we're probably going to add this here. Let's see. Add that bot booty or do we want that in the booty? It's probably too much for the booty. Let's see what else we have. We have these from Creative Details. Right, we'll go with that. That's good enough for me. And it's the perfect color. So let's trim these out. I don't know about you ladies, but it's not that I don't like color. I just prefer things to be Um, I'm going to put this. This is one that I did with silk. So we're going to go ahead and glue these down. I don't know. I just prefer too much, not too much color. Just my personal preference to me. And I'm doing three of these because I like things in odd numbers. So that. Get that glue down good. Okay. And then we're going to go back here. Now we're going to let's see, do we want these or do we want to leave them out? Now let's leave those out. Not necessary. Use that for another project. We want more flowers here. Let's see, we want more flowers. Do that. Let's put some in the booty over here. And then we'll add a bridle. We gotta have a bridle here. pretty in the front. Um, so we're going to kind of cover up because you know how I like my edges to be clean and cut. So we'll find something to wrap around that edge. And let's see, we have all kinds of little goodies here. But we have this one. And that's a pearl. Oh yeah, that'll be pretty there. So let's, this is from Hobby Lobby. of all that goodness. Okay. I know you can't see what I'm doing because I got my camera on the opposite side. Alright, so we're just going to bring that up to the front. I was recording because earlier I thought I was recording and I wasn't. And I do these in a smaller section just so that I might have better control. Let's 
Alright, so we're going to use this um, fringe one um, here for this part of the rocking, or it's not a rocking horse, it's actually a just a horse. You guys can't see that that I'm doing. All right. And all right, now we're gonna take some of this pearl and we're just gonna go in and decorate her a little bit more. go smaller sections because I really don't want to when you do smaller sections you have better control going up to the front so let's move the camera Get a lot of glue webs. And let's see, that's that right there. All right. I'm sorry. Sorry for the sound. It makes a horrible sound, I know. Okay, and then we could probably add this for the bridle. I think that would be cute. A little different. A tad bit different. Okay, so for here we're going to do four doilies, and they're little tiny ones that I purchased from eBay, and we're just going to add it down here, just like so. Put that center down. You can add buttons, you can add, you know, broken pieces of earrings, whatever you want. I'm going to add little resin pearl that you can purchase at Creating with Details. So it's my little Creating with Details horse. So you can get these little buttons, the little resin ones. And I'll put that right in the center right there. That'd be cute right there. I don't know. I just like the neutral colors. I think, you know, when you're when you're making stuff that you're in a because I'm going to put this in my Etsy store. 
especially, you know, you don't know what everyone's, the core taste is, but I have reason why it's just a neutral color, and it can go with any home decor that you want. So, oops, dropped one. Now I have to bend it down and get it later. So it's safer to go with the ivories than it is to try and... Oh, that one's not a, not a good one. Let's go grab another one. Mm. That one wasn't cut so well. All right, here we go. Make sure they're cut really good. I don't want thread. Out. Come back in and Pearls. It's so pretty. Again, you can with neutrals. You can put it into any room decor. Um, it'll go with anything. Um, you know, and and you can always add your touch to it. I just seem to like those colors are more neutral, more goes with anything in your home. All right. Back down here. Sorry about that, ladies. Okay. Okay, so we're going to put this here on the bottom part. Uh, the hoof. I think that's what they're called. Don't quote me on it, ladies. You guys know me. Don't know the name for all this stuff. But it's all right. Right. I think that's cute. Fancy little shoes. All right. Okay. Now look backwards. See what it looks like. I'm going to do all four like that. And I wished I had. Maybe I can put this one here. And then just go around in pearls because I don't have any more of that pearly one. So let's just go around with this one. It's a little daisy one from Creating with Details. 
and then I can go back in with tiny little pearls and just give it a cute little look. glue a pile of glue webs waiting for me to knit that Alright, so we're going to do the back and we'll be back for that. Okay, so this is a connector from Creative with Details and I'm going to add it right up here. See if I can bring that camera up. Right there. And I think it would be perfect for right there. Gives it a little bit of a bling thing going on there. Glue it to the side. So I got to get off a little bit off camera so I can glue it to the side, ladies. All right. I'll glue this little, little hole trim here. All right. Okay. So there we have that. I'm decisive as far as what I'm going to do with the eyes. The eyes, the eyes. What am I going to do with the eyes? So I think I'm going to go use one of these. Um, let's see, I got some other. My wings. Find other money that I can use for the eyes, ladies. I end up needing some buttons or something. So let's see what we find that we can use. Oh, the joys of finding stuff. Some little pearls here, but doesn't look like I do. Well, let's just go with what I have there. All right, so we're going to use some of this and just use it for the eyes a little. I had these in gold, but there's nothing much in gold here, see. I don't have anything in gold, and then I have that's too big. Yeah, it's too way too big. Too big. Hmm. Well, what if we put little a little daisy and center that off a little bling? Oh, you can't see that. Let me look. Okay, so I have these little heads, headbands that I purchased from Hobby Lobby a couple weeks ago, and I think I put one there. 
I thought about putting this little bow here, but I think that's too big. And even if I did a little smaller one, I'll save that for another project. So we're going to go with this here. Excuse my mess. Oh, look at my mess. I got to vacuum out. So I needed to do my glue webs. Oh, maybe that's too much there. Is that too much? Mm. I think that's too much. It's too much, ladies. So we're going to go. Okay, so we're going to go with these for the eyes and their buttons. Another one. Uh -oh. Wrong side. Okay. I'm going to go like that with the eyes. Vacuum my glue. I got a mess. I'm starting stuff on the floor. Okay. Now that in the trash, clean up as we go. And can go here. Yeah, we'll leave that one out. We will leave that one out. Okay. So there we have it. Oh, isn't she pretty? It's gorgeous. I could have put... Oh, let's see. That's too big. Yeah, that's too big. Nope, we're not doing that. It's amazing how much glue webs you can get on these things. Okay. So her hair goes that way. I think she's darling. Goes to the side. Her oh, hair goes to the side. Yeah. All right, so that is it. That is the um, the new little horse that I've designed. Anyway, not designed, decorated. All right, anyways, ladies, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Until next time, bye-bye.